Hi, everyone. Let's provide the solution here. 4 to the power of x minus 2 equals 40. So how do we solve this? The first step I want to take is this. Do you know that if you have if you have a to the power of b minus c, this can be written as a to the power of b multiplied by a to the power of negative c using one of the laws of indices, right? So from there now, we're going to have this as 4 to the power of x multiply by 4 to the power of negative 2 and the whole of this is equal to 40. Now, what again can we do? Remember this right here, if you have a to the power of negative b, this is the same thing as 1 over a to the power of b. So because of that, here now I'm going to have 4 to the power of x multiplied by 1 over 4 squared. Everything is equal to 40, right? So now we're having 4 to the power of x to be equal to 40 multiply by 16 because 4 squared is 16 so we can just cross multiply so let's multiply 40 by 16 okay so 4 to the power of x now is equal to 640 and then from here again here is what i want to do i want to write 640 to have 4 as the base but that is not possible so let's get 4 out of 640 because 4 is a, is a, is a factor of 640 4 to the power of x is equal to 4 multiplied by 4 into 64 ok 4 into 6 is going to give us 1 right then the same 4 into 24 will give us 6 and 4 into 0 is 0. So 4 times 160 will give us 64, right? So 4 is still a factor of 160. 4 to the power of x is equal to 4 times 4. 4 into 16, that will give us 4. 4 into 0 is 0. Okay. Now we can still break it down again to get 4 to the power of x equals 4 times 4 times 4 because 4 into 40 will give us 10 so at the end of the day 4 times 4 times 4 times 10 will give us 640 and this now means that we have 4 to the power of x equal to 4 to the power of 3 multiplied by 10 you can see that's right so it cannot really be written completely in the base of 4. So we have to take the log of both sides. Log 4 to the power of x will now be equal to log 4 to the power of 3 times 10, right? Now, we'll now use one of the laws of indices that says if you have log a, b, it will be the same thing as log a, plus log b right so because of that i will write this in this form log 4 to the power of x being equal to log 4 to the power of 3 plus log 10 so we have log 10 over there and then what happens is that the power will go behind right so here now we'll have x log 4 being equal to 3 log 4 plus here there's no um, power so we have log 10 now what again should i do i have to divide this by log 4 so that x will be known divide this by log 4 
and divide this by the same log 4. This will go there. And if that happens, here we'll have x to be equal to this will also go there. And then we'll have 3 here. Plus, here we can apply change of base, right? So that we'll have log 10 to the base of 4. This 4 here becomes the base to the 10. So this is our our x. And um, let's just put this back into the equation and see if we got the right answer. Okay, so our x again is 3 plus log 10 to base 4. So we're going to put this into the equation here. We'll now have 4 to the power of 3 plus, because x is 3 plus log 10 to base 4, then we have minus 2. So at the end of the day, will this give us 40? If it does not, then we didn't get it right. So this and this, we can even collect terms from the power, right? This can be 4 to the power of 3 minus 2. Then we have your plus log 10 to base 4. Remember, log 10 to base 4 is not 1, okay? Now, 3 minus 2 is 1. So we have 4 to the power of 1 plus log 10 to base 4. So that's from here. We can now use this law of indices that I talked about earlier on. I said if you have a to the power of b plus c this is a to the power of b multiplied by b okay multiply by the same a to the power of c because this is more um, addition so you have to multiply them so if i am to apply this here now this will not be in this form so i have 4 to the power of 1 multiply by the same 4 to this power which is log 10 to base 4 then there's another law again that you should know and it's the law that says if you have a to the power of log b to the same base a this is going to be equal to b so because of that the whole of this is going to give us 10 because the 4 here is the 4 here as the base. So 4 to the power of 1 is 4. Multiply by the whole of this will go. So we multiply by 10. And 4 times 10 will just give us 40. And that is what we had on the other side of the equation, right? Okay, look at it there. So we are very correct to say that this is the value of x. Thank you for watching.